Hello guys, it's Grimdutch here with another video and today loot from 10 hours of Slayer. Another loot from 10 hour video, the second one and uh, very excited about this one. I really really enjoyed doing Slayer again. I'm already 200 mil for over a year now I think. So uh, quite a while. I haven't done Slayer in I think 12 months, 10 months maybe. Something like that. I haven't done any Slayer whatsoever because I'm already 200 million so it's not really well efficient to do so. Now I did 10 hours of Slayer and I absolutely loved it again. I really enjoy Slayer. It was one of my and is one of my favorite skills of all time. Uh, same with Dungeoneering. Some people hate it, think it's a mini game. I absolutely love to do it. Already 200 mil in that also, so I can do that. Maybe for a video someday, but because I didn't got the pet. But uh, for the Slayer, I did 10 hours of that. I did a lot of tasks. I did uh, 32 tasks in total, so quite a few. I used some of my masks, but I uh, tried not to skip any tasks uh, which I got. I had Flayer VIP tickets so I used some of them to get a little bit more profitable tasks sometimes but I tried to do it not that often. I did one rune dragon task and one edamu task which is most of the time quite lucrative but uh, for me it really wasn't <laughs> all that much. Didn't cut the big ticket drops unfortunately but uh, yeah we did a lot of abyssal demons, dark beast, canadoria creatures, ice strike worms. We did a lot of the tasks. Uh, also a lot of air roots. very much enjoyed air roots, although you can't really use the cannon method anymore well you can if you really pay attention but I didn't want to do that so I did the Kurdo method there are some guides on how to do that but I think most of you guys who are doing Slayer at high level already know that and of course I did the Sophonem Slayer dungeon the soul devourers and the corrupted creatures of course one of my favorite tasks at the end I think I almost got 200 mil Slayer at that point but not quite yet so I did some of those tasks made us some videos about that as well it's really afk it's like abyssal demons but then the monsters do hit quite a lot uh, a lot more than those abyssal demons and the drops you don't have to pick up anything because it goes all to the chest so first off we are going to the chest I already got loads of uh, items in those chests so you will see a before and after because I didn't want to take it out because I'm working on a one build chest so it's going to take quite a bit of time but I want to do that so we didn't do a whole lot of tasks there and uh, before it was 129.9 and now it's 131.7 so not a whole lot but I wanted to show that because I'm not going to take anything out this chest for now I have loads of things in there 131.7 mil so of course not from the uh, 10 hours of Slayer but uh, I thought why not show you guys it's fun to be in the video so and now for the first inventory of the price check a lot of the valuable items so this one is going to be the most profitable and most valuable one of course so let's price check the first inventory comes out to 29.2 million GP which is really nice we did cut a lot of air bones 632 so around 5 uh, air root tasks we did in those 10 hours which is really fun to do those air roots so I would recommend doing them they are great melee experience as well so uh, I would recommend doing them I did some Garandormic Beasts as well 867k and Garandormic Flakes and of course the Spring Cleaner did its work quite well almost 10 million in those Runite Ores so uh, Slayer is again really profitable it always was actually but it's a really good money marker now and I would recommend if you need money and you want to do something that's really uh, changing all the time you could do uh, loads of different things I would recommend Slayer. And now for the second inventory of the Slayer tab. Cash drops are in there so let's price check this 11.3 million almost 10 mil in cash drops because you get a lot of cash drops at Abyssal Demons, Dark Beast at a lot of Slayer monsters so that's why almost 10 million in cash the rest is quite useless it's not that valuable that's why the Rune Kite Shield and Blade Skirt are in there and uh, also for the Clue Scrolls which I didn't mention and it's of course a very big thing on my channel we got 7 Elite Clue Scrolls from those 10 hours so the rates are not that great but uh, for, t for example tasks like Animu give loads of Elite Clue Scrolls, uh, Shadow Creatures which I didn't cut in those 10 
10 hours uh, give loads of elite crew scrolls and of course abyssal demons give a loads of hard crew scrolls i haven't got the hard crows physically right here because i've done quite a few of them and uh, but in total we got 31 hard crew scrolls in those 10 hours so an average of over three every hour which is um, quite a decent rate for those hard crew scrolls so a lot more than the previous video which was loot from 10 hours of armadillo so the total loot is right around 40 million gp which is a little bit less than my previous loot from 10 hour video and that was from armadillo which was kind of disappointing i thought slayer would be a little bit more and lastly the charms i didn't really keep track of them because i'm already 200 mil in summoning and i didn't think of that but now let's go to how much experience we got in those 10 hours so in the 10 hours we got over 3 million slayer experience almost 3.1 so a quite a good rate of 300k plus every hour which i'm happy about of course i'm already 200 million so i'm not really going to see that in my total experience but uh, on room metrics you can see that luckily otherwise i couldn't really keep track of that but uh, 3 million slayer experience we got 2.5 million defense experience we also got 3.6 million attack experience it takes quite a bit of time but only 6 million and i can't get any experience uh, combat wise for uh, using magic which is really disappointing for me because i love to do magic but uh, yeah other than that we also did get 2.1 million constitution experience also nice that room metrics keeps track of that because otherwise i couldn't do that because i'm already 200 mil in that as well unfortunately also we got a 200k prayer experience mostly from the bone crusher which i used with those dark beasts i think that's uh, where the 200k prayer comes in and the range xp 265 we also got not a lot but 265k it's something right so we did get that as well so in total we got around 11.5 million experience in those 10 hours which is absolutely amazing over 1 million experience every hour on average so i'm quite happy with that so all in all with the loot and the xp rates and the clue scrolls i would say 10 hours of slayer is absolutely worth doing i'm thinking about making another video loot from 20 hours or maybe 50 hours of slayer uh, put it in the comment section down below what you would like to see and i hope you all enjoyed this one thank you all for watching leave the like if you like this series and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye